everyone, it's Nona Grace and I'm from Western New York. Today's video is going to be, I'm going to do a little voiceover. You're going to see a motorcycle ride. You're going to see Jim painting. You're going to see Mr. Brown outside. I just put Mr. Brown to bed and I got 12 eggs today, but you won't see that. I just tell you that part. <laughs> yep. Yeah. I um, wanted to wish you a happy St. Patty's Day, and I did that on the little motorcycle ride. You'll hear the voiceover. So those of you that like to watch the motorcycle ride, you've got something to watch. And those of you that like to just listen, you can just listen. It gets both worlds. I'm going to put a little motorcycle ride in. It's a f my first ride of this first season. First ride of the too. season. Yeah, I'm we don't sure. have snow. I heard, saw uh, Plain Vanilla Grandma, Carol. She's got lots of snow in Texas. Here in western New York, we're pretty pretty clear. There's although, still some snow Although on you the, went where the there was snow. Side. I could see snow in part of the video. I north, don't know if I north, left it in or not. sides of any banks. Yeah, I had snow. You're also going to see him finish up the little cold frame. He was painting it. You're going to see Mr. Brown outside. There he is, busy working. Looking good. Yeah. Here comes Mr. Brown. He says, I have to follow you too. She follows me everywhere I go. Yep. If I open the door for her to come into the chicken area, she goes in and then she wants out when I go out. Oh, it's not too bad out today. It's a little breezy. Oh, my Swiss chart is like in a nice little hot box. <laughs> yeah. It would have been snowed on if, or iced on if it wasn't closed because we had that ice the other day. Yeah. Our windows are panels are very wet, so there's a lot of humidity yeah. coming up. Well, that's good. Which means that the ground in here is getting warmer, definitely. That's good. Then you'll be able to till it for me. Yep. Hello. Say hello to the people. Well, I'm going to go back in. Happy St. Patrick's Day to all of you. And guess what? I'm going to do a little voiceover with this riding of the motorcycle. Jim took a ride today so that he could help me get some of my video because he asked me, do you have any topic for today? And I said, not really. So he asked if, he, if I wanted some footage on the motorcycle and I said sure thing so this is what you're seeing you're seeing Jim riding the motorcycle what I'm going to talk about today because it is St. Patrick's Day did you ever wonder about the Blarney Stone kissing in Ireland is the kissing they used to kiss the Blarney Stone it's a tradition that's been around for several centuries it's said to give a person the gift of eloquence and persuasiveness. One story holds it was acquired during the Crusades and brought to Ireland while another tale claims it was made from the same material used at the stone hedge. Well, no matter what the origin story, story you believe, all agree on one thing. Kissing the Blarney Stone bestows on the kisser the gift of gab. This means you'll leave the castle with great eloquence and skill at flattery. Once you've pr puckered your lips and kissed the stone, and it's no easy feat to kiss the stone. The stone, they say, is very difficult to get to, but who knows. There's also a bunch of famous sayings. A man loves his sweetheart the most, but his wife the best, but his mother the longest. May the roof above you never fall in and those gathered beneath it never fall apart. A good laugh and a long sleep are the best two cures. A little fire that warms is better than a big fire that burns. These are all sayings from the Irish, the Irish quotes and sayings and famous Irish sayings. A best friend is like a four-leaf clover, hard to find and lucky to have. May the road rise up to meet you. May you get all your wishes but one, so that you will always have something to strive for. That makes good sense. 
May you live as long as you want and never want as long as you live. That's another good one. May you have the hindsight to know where you've been and the foresight to know where you're going and the insight to know when you have gone too far. Tis better to spend money like there's no tomorrow than to spend tonight like there's no money. There is only one thing worse than being talked about, and that is not being talked about. That means you're invisible, totally invisible. I think I'd be rather I'd rather people talked about me. What butter and whiskey won't cure, there is no cure. That's a good one. If you can't if the whiskey and the butter don't cure, then you won't be cured. Then don't worry, don't bother. Here's to you and here's to Here's to me and here's to you is what I want to say. I've got it backwards. Here's to me. It's a toast we're going to do. Here's to me and here's to you and here's to love and laughter. I'll be true as long as you and not a moment after. Another toast would be here's to you and here's to me. I pray that friends will always be. But if by chance we disagree, the heck with you and here's to me. I like that one. What is a famous Irish saying? A man's love is his sweetheart the most. I already said that one. And his wife the best, but his mother the longest. That one is really true. A good laugh and a long sleep are the best cures. So hopefully you all get a good laugh and a, and a good sleep. I also got 12 eggs today. I got a lot of eggs. I gave Jessica three dozen, and Jim gave a dozen away, and so and then I put a dozen away today. Oh my goodness, I'm never going to be out of eggs. And so, do I get tired of them? I had that question. Uh, not really, because I've been eating them with bread. If I didn't eat them with bread, yeah, I would be tired of them. I wouldn't. I I like my eggs, so they taste sort of like French toast. Jim eats them with the cheese and the other stuff. You saw how he makes his, and that's how he eats his when he has it. I hope you all had a great day, and I will talk to you all again tomorrow. Take care. Bye-bye.